It used to be a long drawn out process to set up a multi-output drum mix or multi-output instrument in Traction Waveform, but not anymore. As of Waveform Pro 12.5, you can do this in the click of a button. So this is on the Pro version, not on the free version yet, but let's check out how easy this is. So we're just going to go in here like normal and add an instrument plugin. My one I usually use is Easy Drums. So there's Easy Drummer 3. I'm just going to add that as normal. And look, we have this new window that pops up. It says Create Multi Output Wrapper. And it says this plugin has more than two output channels. Do you want to create a multi output wrapper to route the additional channels to sequential tracks? This option can also be found by right clicking on the plugin in the mixer or from the actions side panel. And you can also have this to not show again. If you never use multi output plugins, then maybe you don't want this to show up, but I like this feature. So here's our options, create multi output wrapper, create multi output wrapper in a sub mix or add single plugin. So I'm going to try create multi output wrapper in a sub mix because that's usually how I set it up. Let's click on that. And there we go. We have sub mix, which I would end up calling drum bus. So that would be our drum bus. And you can see it's created all those wrappers for us. So no more going in and manually doing this and then going in and setting up all this wiring. It's all done for us. What we will have to do though, is just go into our plugin and this one specifically, I have to set to multi-channel. So I'll do that. And then I'm just going to want to make sure that each drum goes to whatever track I want. So I can just click. And that would be my kick, snare. And if you want these to route to some other channel, it's not set up the way you like, then you could just click and change whatever channel it goes to in here. So let's quickly look at the other way that we can do this by right clicking on the plugin. And this time I'll use the MT Power Drum Kit too. So we're just going to right click on the plugin and then we're going to go down to create a multi out rack for this plugin inside a submix. Boom, done. One click, just like that. We've got our submix for MT Power Drum Kit. And of course you can go in there and change the drum outputs manually in here. So kick one, snare two, and all of that, you would just keep going to set it up however you want in the plugin itself. And then you can add your compressors, your EQs, and whatever other plugins you want to add to each individual drum. You can do that in there. Save this as a template if you want, so you can easily load it up again for other projects. And there is another new feature in Waveform 12.5 that you should really check out. You can do that by clicking the video on the screen. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Thank you so much for watching. For Audio Tech TV, I'm Zane. Keep creating. Fist bump. Thumbs up.